Okay, so you get the water saturation by one minus intercept divided by slope. So you get that the water saturation, the average water saturation behind the front, behind the water front at breakthrough is 50.41, which is actually very, very close with our guess, our first guess, our simple guess, which is 50%. Okay, and we can extend the straight line. I will delete the equation first and like this you get that and you can remake the trend line and you will produce the same equation of course and if you want make it bold like that and yeah actually we don't need to construct this but if you want to really calculate it on paper on using excel you will find that at the touching point, at the meeting point between the two curves, the value resulting from this equation will be the same with the value resulting from this equation. Okay, so you have that. And I just want to make a note here. So let's name it SWBT, FWBT. And let's make it no field. at this point and also the outline no fill as well okay so you get that and also copy put it there okay right so you have this at breakthrough condition the water saturation at breakthrough, which is the same with water saturation at the front is 43.35%. And the fractional flow at or water cut at breakthrough is actually the same with fractional flow at the front, which is 80.64%. And the average water saturation behind the front at breakthrough is 50.41%. This is the result if you do the rigorous equation, uh, rigorous approach using uh, using derivative, using the line equation. And this is the simple approach. You just draw a line and just make a rough reading based on the chart. Okay. And you can also refer to Tarek Ahmed book, okay, the Reservoir Engineering Handbook. And on the topic about frontal advance and fractional flow, you can see a plot like this. So you see, we have fractional flow curve there. We have the tangent line there. And the meeting point between the tangent line and the fractional flow is this one. Producing water cut at front, this one, and this is the water saturation at front, and this is the average water saturation behind the front at breakthrough. Okay, and I can also show you the, wait a minute, I, I can show you also from Tarek Ahmed book. Okay, copy and paste, yeah. So according to Tarek Ahmed, SWF is the same with SWBT. FWF, fractional flow at front, is actually the same with fractional flow at breakthrough. But they are the same. They are different from average water saturation behind the front at breakthrough. Okay, so you get that. So just remember, in this analysis, we construct relative permeability using core analysis report. We make fractional flow curve. We get the we, we do breakthrough analysis to get the water saturation at breakthrough, fractional flow at breakthrough, and water saturation, average water saturation behind the front at breakthrough using simple approach. Just draw a line and a little bit more rigorous approach 
using derivative and using equation of line to get the same result. The water saturation at front or water saturation at breakthrough, all right, and fractional flow at front and fractional flow at breakthrough. Okay, so I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Angman videos. Thank you.